Arjuna, who is that Brahma? What that soul of souls, the Aryatman? What thou best of all thy work, the Kama? Tell me what it is thou namest Aributa. What again means Adidaiva? Yea, and how it comes thou canst be Aryajna in thy flesh, slayer of Madhu. Further, make me know how good men find thee in the hour of death. Krishna. I, Brahma, am the one eternal God, and Adiatman is my being's name, the soul of souls. What goeth forth from me, causing all life to live, is karma called. And manifested in divided forms, I am the Adibhuta, Lord of lives, and Adidaiva, Lord of all the gods, because I am Parusha, who, who begets, and Adiyajna, Lord of sacrifice. I, speaking with thee in this body here, am thou embodied one, for all the shrines flame unto me. And at the hour of death, he that hath meditated me alone in putting off his flesh comes forth to me, enters into my being, doubt thou not. But if he meditated otherwise at hour of death in putting off the flesh, he goes to what he looked for, Kunti's son, because the soul is fashioned to its like. Have me then in thy heart always, and fight, thou too, when heart and mind are fixed on me, shalt surely come to me, all come who cleave with never wavering will of firmest faith, owning none other gods, all come to me, the uttermost, Purusha, holiest. Whoso hath known me, Lord of sage and singer, ancient of days, of all the three worlds stay, boundless, but unto every atom bringer of that which quickens it, whoso, I say, hath known my form, which passeth mortal knowing, seen my effulgence, which no eye hath seen, than the sun's burning gold more brightly glowing, dispersing darkness, unto him hath been, Right life, and in the hour when life is ending, with mind set fast in trustful piety, drawing still breath beneath calm brows unbending, in happy peace that faithful one doth die. In glad peace passeth to Parusha's heaven, the place which they who read the Vedas name Aksharam, ultimate, whereto have striven saints and ascetics. Their road is the same, that way, the highest way, goes he who shuts the gates of all his senses, locks desire safe in his heart, centers the vital airs upon his parting thought, steadfastly set, and, murmuring Om, the sacred syllable emblem of Brahm, dies meditating me. For who, none other gods regarding, looks ever to me, easily am I gained by such a yogi, and attaining me, they fall not, those Mahatmas, back to birth, to life, which is the place of pain, which ends, but take the way of utmost blessedness. The worlds, Arjuna, even Brahma's world, roll back again from death to life's unrest, but they, O Kunti's son, that reach to me, taste birth no more. If ye know Brahma's day, which is a thousand yugas, if ye know the thousand yugas making Brahma's night, then know ye day and night as he doth know. When that vast dawn doth break, the invisible is brought anew into the visible. When that deep night doth darken, all which is fades back again to him who sent it forth. Yea, this vast company of living things again and yet again produced, expires, at Brahma's nightfall and at Brahma's dawn riseth without its will to life newborn. But higher, deeper, innermost abides another life, not like the life of sense, escaping sight, unchanging. This endures when all created things have passed away. This is that life named the unmanifest, the infinite, the all, the uttermost, thither arriving none return. That life is mine, and I am there, and prince, by faith, which wanders not, there is a way to come thither. I, the Purusha, I, who spread the universe around me, in whom dwell all living things, may so be reached and seen. 
Richer than holy fruit on Vedas growing, greater than gifts, better than prayer or fast. Such wisdom is the yogi, this way knowing, comes to the utmost perfect peace at last. Here endeth chapter 8 of the Bhagavad Gita, entitled, The Book of Religion by Devotion to the One Supreme God. <laughs>